I'm now going to demonstrate how we can update the navigation. We've already created some small amount of content for each of the pages with headings, so we'll be able to easily differentiate between the pages when we're testing the effectiveness of the navigation. So I'm going to go to the code view because it's easier to work in this way. And I'm going to minimize that to get it out of the way. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the window for properties, which is somewhere down here. Here it is. I'll just put that about there. And I'm going to scroll down to the navigation and we can see I've actually put in the rest of the navigation already, but I'm just going to demonstrate on this single one that I've left. You remember originally with the bootstrap, I put in placeholder links. Um, there was a hash there and I'm just going to demonstrate how to link that to the page now. So I've highlighted the line and that's brought up the properties with the link to the hash symbol. I'm going to select this folder icon here and scroll down and it needs to go into the event page. So I'm going to double click that and we can see that we have two dots followed by a forward slash and events. And this denotes that it's a relative link, which is what I want. So I'm just going to now uh, save this and a dialog box opens up with all of the pages that are linked to it. And I choose update and I can see that there were 15 files examined and 15 files updated. Now, if your child pages don't update, it may be that you need to recreate the cache and recreating the cache is down here under advanced. That's one way of doing it. Or you may need to build the page again from the template choosing remember new and it would be from your site template and this is the important box that needs to be ticked off so that when we make changes it updates the page.